Hey guys, uh, you've seen a few of me before. I'm in my workshop, and it, behind me here, as you can see, over my shoulder is an engine. Now, this engine is actually out of, it's actually a whole transaxle. You can see it there from the top, I'm sure. You can see that there's a, there's a wheel over that side, and another one over this side, and this, here's the engine. And you've got a transaxle, and it's actually out of this is actually a Prius, okay, because I'm actually into electric cars, and so I'm studying Prius design. Okay, uh, so, so that's the car it came out of, actually, just there. And you might recognize that a bit better. Okay, so this engine is quite advanced. I mean, it is, it's self contained, it runs on its own, it actually doesn't work through like throttle and things uses a computer to control it, and it works in conjunction with uh, an electrical system to power the car. And it's pretty advanced. I mean, this engine came out of this car, which, as you can see, is... I mean, if you're looking at this in a, another country, you may not know about the plates. Uh, if I can keep it straight. I just want to show you the plate, which is a S-reg. Okay, so the S, which is there... Okay, this is backwards actually, but it's an X reg. Okay, I may reverse this, which means it was made in I don't know what is that ninety about ninety six nineteen ninety six, yeah, and um, this video has been recording in two thousand twelve, which makes this car six years old, doesn't it? Six. Yes, well, it's six years old. So that's six years old. This engine's six years old. I think the engine itself has done in the region of 100,000 miles. Okay, this particular car has a similar engine. In fact, it actually is the same design. And this one is SHO2, okay, which means it's actually 2002. So that means that's 10 years old, which makes that other one 16 years old, doesn't it? Mm. Something like that. Anyway, there we go. Got my maths wrong there. Anyway, so 16 year old car. 10 year old car and this one has I think about 180,000 miles on it and there was one similar that used to be my wife's car uh, which has done 250,000 miles and the, it was involved in an accident uh, so the engine and the mechanics and everything were fine it was just that the car's disposed of now <coughs> so we have an engine uh -huh. there it is transaxle and that and that engine it's pretty advanced. It's it's now it's not been touched, it's not been modified, it's not been rebuilt, it's not been changed, it's still got the original rings and bearings and everything like that. Probably even the original oil and coolant. Okay. So this this engine is actually pretty good. Okay. We're talking about an engine that's done hundred thousand miles from the workshop that it was built without really being done anything at all. No no maintenance at all. So it's pretty good. Okay. That's a good engine. Okay, car engines as a whole are quite advanced, aren't they? They're very complicated designs, and they do a reasonable job extracting energy from fuel in a robust way. So, the original engines, which, I mean, engines have been around for decades now, about 100 years, more than 100 years, perhaps. I think I'm covering the mic a bit. Uh, engines have been around about 100 years-ish, more. I think the original invention of the engine is probably about 150 years ago. Okay, and so that was quite a simple one. So the design of this engine, right, is not the same as the original engine. So what do we say about that? We say, well, that's, that's an engine, and the actual design of the engine has evolved over time, hasn't it, to become this nice, wonderful... It's evolved. We use the term evolve, don't we? Yeah? Wrong. It's not evolved. That has not evolved in any way at all. Not evolved. Because evolution, right... In a general sense, evolution means that it, it changed itself over time. It improved itself over time by a natural selection process. In other words, crap ones basically didn't work, and there was a modification, uh, a mutation of the, of the engine, which became a better uh, design, which survived better, and so on and so on. That's a generally accepted theory about evolution, okay? But it didn't, did it? In no way, shape, or form did that happen. Okay, the design process didn't evolve either, okay, because it didn't create itself, did it? It didn't. The design process is a mental process, it's a conception in someone's mind, right? So, 
it wasn't any part of an evolution process. It was a creation. It was designed intelligently. It's an intelligent design, isn't it? That machine is the result of intelligent design, isn't it? That's what it is. Intelligent people designing it. Some guy or guys, probably for the several components, they took original processes, right, and then they augmented them using their intelligence to make them better, to improve them, and they created new components, right? And then engineers then manufactured those components and assemblers put them together and here we have an engine. That's how it worked. And all the way down the chain are intelligent people doing this. It's a creation process. But we use the term evolved, don't we? We say that the design process evolved, right? Now, that's a hack, yeah? That's actually a hack. It's a hack in linguistic terms. Because what it's doing is you're actually fitting a term, the word evolution, to something which isn't evolution, to try and make it evolution. It's not the process isn't evolution, not at all. It is design, intelligent design. That's how that came about, by intelligent design. There is not a single thing that you can say which is a scientific evolution process. It is nothing to do with, generally we're talking about a biological evolution process. Obviously it's not a biological thing, it's a machine, right? It's, an, it's a, a piece of metal, right? It's not a, uh, an organic uh, thing. It's not an organic machine. It's just a uh, something that, that humans have made, isn't it? Designed. So there's no evolution involved in that at all. Same with the car itself. Okay. This, again, not evolved. This was made. This was intelligently designed. Over the course of time, the design has changed. But it's changed by the input of a creator. Hasn't it? Can't say it's evolved. We do say it's evolved, but it's the wrong word. It's not evolved. Created. Intelligent design. That's what that is. Not evolution. Okay? Oops. Put the camera there. Okay? This, here. Right? What is that? Is that evolved? Over the course of time? This particular unit hasn't, obviously. <laughs> right? But humans evolved over time. Have they? Hmm? We use the term evolved for the engine and we use the term evolved for this machine, a biological machine with a supercomputer brain. Don't we? But is it the right term? Or, or are we saying that evolution is a creation process? In other words, evolution needs intelligent design. It needs creation. And evolution then is part of the creation process. Because that's the only way you can fit that term. You want to say that that evolved over time? You have to accept that evolution is a creation process. Which means, if you're saying you believe in evolution, you're saying you believe in creation. God.